Hey everyone, hope y'all are doing well. My name is Durosai, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make your 808s slap. So the trend in hip hop just seems to be going towards fatter and dirtier 808s. So I'll just be going through some techniques that I implement in my beats to get that low end shaken. I'm also including a free sample pack with some of the sounds that I use in this video and just in my beats in general, like my Moog bass, some kicks that I made, and just some like 808 samples. All right, so let's get into Ableton and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So one thing I love to do with my 808s is separate out the kick from the bass, like the tail end of the 808. So what this allows for is more control over the mix and the tonality of those low frequencies. So I have this beat right here that's uh, available on BeatStars for purchase. I just recently made a BeatStars. It's how to plug my stuff. Anyways, have this beat here and I'll show you how I implemented uh, this sort of technique. solo this so you can hear it, the 808s. So I'm grabbing this kick from a sample pack and I'm separating this out as you can see from the 808 bass line. And so I'm, this 808 is coming from my Moog. So I literally just recorded like me just holding down a bass note on the Moog. I can show you this here. And I've actually, I've included this sample and some other Moog samples in the sample pack. Cause this is part of what gives it just such a fat sound. Cause it's just like a, that with something with the analog circuitry and also the Moog filter, it just really brings out a lot of harmonics in the bass. So I'll play you this sample. This is a really long note. And I pretty much just dragged that into sampler. So I actually don't have much processing on this 808 because for this track I should not really need much so the main kind of the thing that's giving this 808 a little bit of flair is I think this pitch envelope so you can hear it here where it's decreasing in pitch on the release of the note essentially the release is like when you release your key from the keyboard and so you can hear that here I'll play this So I'll adjust the 808, the little bass line. And so all that is is just from this envelope. So I have this amount set to plus 12 semitones. And so all that means is this whole distance is 12 semitones, which is an octave. And so I'm keeping the pitch constant for the entire body of the bass. And as you can see here, when it comes to the release, it goes down uh, 44. 34% have end set to 66. So that's 34% of 12 semitones. So that's like about three to four semitones. It's decreasing on the release. And so other than that, it's just playing around with these decay and release times, making sure that they just jive with the song and the kick and your 808 pattern. Because every track, you know, it's going to be different. You just want to play around with that. And yeah, in terms of processing, as you can see, I don't have much. It's just a little bit of compression here, taking some of the initial bite off. And then I actually had to decrease the bass because I find the Moog is actually overpowering in the amount of bass that it has. So I had to just cut it back a bit and then I have some sidechain compression. It's being sidechained to the kick. And as I'm sure most of you already know, sidechaining is just attenuating the volume of essentially this 808 bass line every time this kick plays. And so that's just so that they don't interfere with each other. So especially with low frequencies, you don't want them necessarily playing at the same time, especially at full volume, or else they'll sound muddy and you'll just get unwanted distortion. And also this will allow your kick to punch harder through the mix. So I'll also show you why I don't like the sort of combined 808 sound where it's just one sample that has you know, like the kick and the 808. I mean, technically the original 808 is like that, but you know, with modern hip hop, the 808s just get harder and harder. So you gotta think of different ways. But yeah, let me show you why I don't like this. So you have this 808. This is the same 808 from up here. I've just 
bounced it so it's in one sample, the kick and the tail. And it sounds good right in the lower register, but as we increase the pitch, you lose a lot of that sub bass and a lot of the energy from the kick goes away. So another reason why I like this technique is just, you know, I keep the, the pitch of the kick constant and just make a melody with the bass line. Now, of course, if that's a style you're going for, or if you want the kick to do that, by all means, do it. You know, everything is just taste. So for my taste, I like the kick to always be punchy. I come from, you know, house and techno background where the kick is like the loudest thing in the mix. So for me, that's like very important. All right, so let's look at one more project. This one, I made this little like ski mask, a slum god type beat, definitely with his style in mind. And same thing here, separate out the kick from the bass, but the 808's a little bit different in this case. So let's hear it and I'll show you what's being done. So really like dirty kind of farty bass, but I like that stuff. So what I'm doing here is so you just have like a this is the kick I'll play it for y'all. Pretty basic, a little bit of saturation, got some compression going on, not much, and then a little bit of high pass because a lot of the sub bass is coming from the actual bass note itself. So I'm high passing the kick just a little bit. And so we go to the bass, this is where the fun begins. Um, so as you can see, yeah, it's super just like dirty and it's got a lot of distortion to it. And so I'm actually not using any third party plugins or anything. All this is just coming from is sampler itself. So you have this wave shaper that essentially like drives the signal and adds harmonics. So if I take this off, this is what it sounds like. It's, it's, it's got that same, you know, like it's got that fat sub bass, but all the harmonics are not there. So I'm just driving the living hell out of this and just having it bump like that. And again, I'm also taking out some of the low end because again, the Moog along with its distortion makes the bass like super blown out. But this kind of controls it, just having this like low shelf here. And another thing is again, I'm using this pitch envelope. Let me turn everything back on. So this pitch envelope in this case is actually, instead of being on the release like how it was in the last track, it's actually just on the, uh, the, the 808 is decaying for its entirety. So for this, again, I'm playing with the pitch envelope and instead of having it under release, I actually just have it on the uh, sustain itself. It's just decaying throughout. And so it's actually decaying a whole octave in about 3.83 seconds. That's what this decay is doing. And so that's just, I just love messing with the pitch and you just get like a really dark sound when you pitch modulate the bass. And it's a really simple thing to do, especially if you're in Ableton and you have access to samplers. Yeah, the sampler, you can't do this in simpler, but as long as you sampler, you should be fine. And same thing, not really doing much processing. After that, just the shelf and the side chain compression pretty much like the uh, last eight as well. I find that when you use just like really high quality samples, the amount of processing that you have to do is a lot less. It just becomes kind of easy because they just sound super clean and nice just straight off the bat. So would definitely recommend just sifting through and just finding really good samples or if you have analog gear like that, uh, just record. And, as, and of course, you can use the samples from my pack because they'll be unprocessed, clean, just like ready to use. So I hope this video is helpful. Let me know if there's anything I needed to clarify or touch up on or just if there's any new topics you want to see, just put a little comment below because I'm looking for new video ideas anyway, so that'd be really helpful. So be sure to grab that sample pack. It's free. Donation is optional if you care to be so kind. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.